we got one new postulate today that we're going to use in one of our proofs. So let's take a look. Segment addition postulate. So if A, B, and C are collinear, so if I have points in the same line, and B is between A and C, if and only if A, B plus B, C equals A, C. So basically it's saying if I got three points in the same line, I can take part plus the part to equal the whole. So basically A, B plus B, C gives me A, C, the whole thing. So I'm just saying if they're on the same line, I can add each piece segment together to get the whole segment. Uh, and that's going to come in handy in our proof here. So let's take a look at our proof. It says prove that if AB is congruent to CD, then AC is congruent to BD. So first of all, like we always start, let's start with our given. Sometimes I like to draw things on my picture. So AB is congruent to CD. So I like to visualize that. And that's my first statement. So I'm going to write statements, get my little T-chart, my two-column proof going here. Statements and reasons. So one, always the given. And what we're given is AB is congruent to CD. And that's given. Well, if I think about this, where do I want to get to? AC... So this whole thing right here, being congruent to BD. Well, if I notice, I just stated A, B, and C, D congruent. So if I add the middle piece to each of those, add a B, C onto A, B, and add a B, C onto C, D, I have the exact same length, won't I? So let's think about that. Well, we just learned that new postulate. Okay, and if I look back at that postulate, if you notice, I'm saying a segment plus a segment is equal. So there's nothing to do with congruence here. And also, if you notice, there are no bars above the A, B, B, C, and C, D, because we're talking about the measure, the measure from A to B, the measure from B to C, the measure from A to C. So no congruence symbol, no bars above. So we need to get to that point before we can start adding our, uh, our segments. So to do that, to get rid of this congruence, to get to equality, that's our first step before we can do anything. I want to switch this. I'm going to say the distance from A to B is equal to the distance from C to D. I have to do that. And it's really the definition of congruence. The definition of congruence. Anytime we go from congruence to equals or equals to congruence or equality to congruence, it's the definition of congruence. So we're going to use that quite a bit. We're going to use that quite a bit. Now I can go ahead and start adding segments together. And this is our postulate that we just talked about. So if I take AB and add BC, that would equal AC. And if I took CD, so I'm going to, that's this part right here. And if I took CD and added it to BC, I'd get that whole thing. So B, what did I say, CD, CD first plus BC. I could have BC first, but I like to see that my BCs line up here. That's kind of nice. Equals BD, equals BD. Well, if you notice here, the nice part is this AC and BD that I just wrote, I have those up top. That's what I'm trying to get to, right? AC being congruent to BD. So that's good. So what can I do with this now? What can I do with this? Somehow... I would like to get AC and BD equal to each other because then I could state that they're congruence by the definition of congruence. Well, how can I say that they're equal to each other? Well, let's go back and look and see what else we did. You notice we have AB is equal to CD. So doesn't that mean I could basically replace one with the other? So I could really take AB here and plug it in for CD, couldn't I? Let's try that once. So I'm going to plug in A, B in for C, D, and I'm going to rewrite uh, that second one here. So A, B plus B, C equals B, D. Well, if you notice now, the reason why we did that is if I look, these two right here have the exact same thing on the left side, A, B plus B, C. Well, if A, C is equal to A, B plus B, C, 
and AB plus BC is equal to BD. Doesn't that make AC equal to BD because of our transitive property? I believe so. So we got to write some reasonings for these steps here. So I'm going to go back to, to three. Well, that was our postulate we just did, the segment addition postulate. So if you write segment addition, I'm okay. You don't need to tell me it's a postulate. Segment addition, that's fine by me. Four, if we look, we took AB and we put it in for CD to rewrite that. So we substituted it in. So we did substitution there. And lastly, we said the transitive property, didn't we? Because AC was equal to AB plus BC, and AB plus BC was also equal to BD. So that was the transitive property. And I look back, what am I trying to prove? That AC is congruent to BD. So that's what I stated at the end. So now I'm going to go back to congruence. So AC is congruent to BD. And we say definition of congruence. Remember, if you go from one or the other, that's all we say, definition of congruence. So there you go. Start with your given. And to get it to equality, use that segment addition. And somehow, you got to get it to AC being equal to CD, or BD. AC being equal to BD. So we had to substitute in. A lot, you know, sometimes there's going to be more ways to do a proof um, than just one way. So you just really have to pay attention. What can I do? How can I put reason behind it? Um, and like I said, the more we do, the more you're going to get used to it, the more comfortable you're going to feel. It might be kind of complicated early on, and that's okay. Let's try another one here. So given YW is equal to YZ, YZ is congruent to XZ, XZ is congruent to WX, and we want to prove that WX is congruent to YW. Well, I know a lot of you are saying is, Mr. Edsel, this is a square up here. Duh, I know that they're congruent. I don't need to do anything. Well, yeah, sometimes you're going to be able to see, obviously, they're, they're congruent. But that, we want to prove it. That's, that's not the case. I don't know you can see it, but let's prove it. So let's go ahead and let's start off with our statements and reasons again. And we always put our given first. So I got to write all these. W, Y is equal to Y, Z. Y, Z is congruent to X, Z. And X, Z is congruent to W, X. And that is given. All right. So I got a lot of stuff here. Um, I'm trying to get to congruence in the end. I'm trying to get to segments being congruent in the end, and I already have some other statements with congruence. So maybe it's a good idea to get everything into congruence. So it's not a bad start just to get my one equal statement into congruence. So I'm going to do that right away. I'm going to say WY is congruent to YZ. I might not need it, but I might, so I'm just going to do it just to, to start. Definition of congruence. So let's take a look at what else we got. So now I'm saying that WY is congruent to YZ. And I'm saying that YZ is congruent to XZ. And I'm saying that XZ is congruent to WX. So I want to make WX congruent to WY. So eventually I want to get these two segments congruent. Well, I can't say that quite yet. Can't say that quite yet. But if I use some of my transitive property of possibly substitution, I think eventually I could get there, couldn't I? Eventually I could get there. So what can I go to next? What can I go to next? Well, if WI is congruent to YZ, those are my ones in the green, WI is congruent to YZ, and YZ is congruent to XZ, couldn't I state that WI is congruent to XZ as well? I think so for the transitive property. WY is congruent to XZ. So I could say that is the transitive property. I could also said what? Uh, substitution, because I could replace WY in for YZ. Replace WY in for YZ. 
Um, do I have anything else? So now I stated that all three of these are congruent so far. Well, now if I can get xz congruent, well, xz is congruent to wx, isn't it? And xz is also congruent to wy. So couldn't I say that wy is congruent to wx? I think because of the transitive property. You bet I could. So I could say that wx is congruent to wy because of transitive. Because I stated that wx is congruent to xz right here. And I stated that wy was also congruent to xz. So that means that wy and wx would be congruent. So it's, you know, it kind of gets a little confusing. I'm throwing you all over the place. But basically, you just have to have reasonings by why something can work. And in this case, we had a lot of congruence things. So more than likely, you're going to use substitution or the transitive property. Um, to get to where you want to get to. But like I said, there could be more what, than one way to do this. You might have not went the exact route that I went, but still come up with the same thing. But I got to be specific. I got to have everything in place before I can do something else. That's, that's the part that we're going to have the most trouble with. Um, so do the best you can. You might have some questions. That's okay. Like I said, it's going to be progress. It's going to be progress. Well, there you go. Good luck on those proofs. Deuces.